All right, so I've never owned a VR headset before this, and I've had my Oculus for about a week now. Um, and I just wanted to go ahead and do a quick review video, let you guys know my thoughts after owning it for a week, uh, show you some of the games that I've played, and just give you an overall review. So uh, one thing that I mainly didn't really know about VR headsets um, <clears throat> is that you kind of have to play around with the settings a little bit to get your eyes lined up and just basically getting it look the best that it possibly can. For me personally, uh, I thought it was kind of like just weird and kind of worried me to have my eyes so close to the screen. So I wear my blue light glasses with it. It did come with like a little spacer. Uh, there's like this thing that I put into it that came with the box um, that just adds this extra space right here to be able to fit your glasses on your head. Um, the, and there's also the little settings that you have. This is on setting three and you can fit it to the width of your eyes. Uh, so whether you have like medium or small, like width in between your eyes, you can adjust it. Um, you have these two things on the, on the head strap and then the top strap as well. It's all very self-explanatory. Uh, if you've never owned a Oculus, uh, basically what it does, it has these cameras on the outside and you can actually look through this as well. You can put pass through mode it's called and be able to look around your room. And, you know, if you drop, you know, a controller or, you know, your phone's going off, you can just put it to pass through mode and, and grab it and be able to use, you know, normal without having to turn it off. Volume is on the bottom right here. The power button is on the side um, and then it takes a USB-C to go ahead and charge it. One thing I did recommend, or one thing I recommend that I saw is only to use the charging cable, even though you may have another USB-C for your Mac or your iPhone or anything else. Um, you know, I don't know if this is 100% true, but I've seen people saying that the USB-C port overheats or something like that with other charging cables. So just use the one that comes in the box and that's about it. So overall, highly recommend, um, very fun. I played Beat Saber, um, Gorilla Tag, Population One, and then some sports games. I don't remember what exactly app it was, but it was like basketball, football, and baseball. Really, really cool. Um, definitely a fun experience. If you've never tried this, I'd say go ahead and try it out.